The Kickbox is a 1989 action movie starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. And it's directed by Mark DeSile and David Wirth. So I, uh, I'm way more of a Bloodsport fan. Like, Bloodsport is my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, so I've never seen Kickboxer, so I just thought it was going to be, like, Bloodsport. Just him working his way up till he has to fight the big bad badass. And it does have a lot of the same beats, but this movie is... I was surprised of how dramatic, deep, and vile it got in some places. So, uh, his brother's played by actual martial artist uh, Dennis... Yeah, Dennis Alexio. And so he gets paralyzed by Tong Po. And uh, so he, Jean-Claude Van Damme, who's excellent in karate but knows nothing of Mai Tai and kickboxing, has to be trained. So the entire movie is just him training until he fights Tong Po. And Tong Po only has one line in the entire movie, and it's at the very end of the movie. Which is very impressive that this guy is just fucking terrifying. And he only has one line. And that one line is just awful. And uh, so... God, this guy. So his brother gets paralyzed, right? And so they uh, make uh, the main... Uh, Tong Po's business partner or coach. Forget which one. Basically makes a deal where he sets up... Tong Po to fight uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme because Jean-Claude Van Damme won a couple fights and is able to fight him. So they go to like this underground match uh, but to ensure that Tong Po wins, he places like a $5 million bet on Tong Po to win, kidnaps Jean-Claude's brother, has Tong Po rape uh, the love interest, blow up his master's dojo and uh stab the master's dog and so the guy basically tells Jean-Claude Van Damme put on a show but lose so you know he's just getting his ass kicked throughout this entire fight so you have two fights going on so it's like the fourth round <laughs> the fourth in the fourth round your ass goes down Something like that. And so the master goes off with uh, the friend, or another friend, to go save the brother. And so that's a fun action sequence, but the ending fight between Jean-Claude and Tong Po is amazing. So they smash up this glass and glue it onto their gloves, so they're cutting each other with glass. And, you know, it's a cliched fight to where... The villain beats the shit out of the hero until as soon as you know, the master walks in with his brother, Jean-Claude just starts taking him out. One just starts blow, or leaving all these fucking hits one after another, and it's, it's really awesome. And they do this cool thing where he has uh, the love interest, like, take off my gloves. She's like, what? Take off my gloves. I cannot fight. It'll take off my gloves. So she takes off his gloves and he's fighting Tong Po uh, barehanded. And so, you know, he, he beats Tong Po, gets the girl, his brother is still paralyzed, uh, the master and the friend, and they're all celebrating, and then Stan Bush kicks in with, Never surrender! So if you're really into just have a hot spot for 80s and 90s action movies, you'll like this movie. I give it a solid uh, 3 out of 5.